Hey guys, it's Justin, and for my project, I'm proposing that I equip myself in parallel to this Apple business analyst of product marketing job post on LinkedIn. Um, and here's my title slide, and I'm just gonna talk real briefly about my data collection process as we all basically did the same thing. Um, but mine, more specifically, I had to um, use Google Trends API, which is actually pretty, um, pretty simple as I um, got this table of interest by time of iPhones, Galaxies, and Huawei, um, which is an international phone company, as well as interest region, interest um, by region, um, which basically gave me a list of, of countries and um, the interest in these three categories. And I moved them to CSV files and installed and connected to AWS and did all these things that you guys did as well. Um, and my questions that I'm answering um, is one, compare the trend and growth between Apple and Samsung. Two, compare the sales and market share data for Apple and Samsung. And three, what countries could Apple potentially grow their exposure in? Um, to, to begin, I'm just going to start with one of my exploratory queries, uh, which um, which its purpose was basically to find the discrepancies between Q1 iPhone sales and other quarters. Um, so it basically went like this. I used the union um, to basically query through um, Q1 versus non-Q1. Um, and it resulted in these metrics here. Um, and as you can see, j there's just a ton of Q1 strength as Apple usually releases their um, their iPhones in September-ish. Um, yeah, and you can really just see that strength. And I'm gonna use that data to basically capitalize on some of these next questions um, here. Um, so the first question is, compare the trend and growth between Apple and Samsung by quarter. So the business justification here is we really just wanna get a sense of, uh, more sense of any seasonal strength for the company. And if there's any significant or significant results, this could lead movement towards Apple capitalizing on a possible weak Samsung quarter. And I use the view aggregate and subquery here. Um, and as you can see, I created this view with um, basically um, the select average of the sales and then um, basically use the where statement where it brought back anything that was above an above average quarter. Um, so here is the results for iPhones. You can see the average is 39 million and 19 rows came back that were above average versus Samsung here. We had 25 rows come back and um, their average quarter sales was 61 million units, um, which really is impressive to me and really just shows the strength of Samsung. Um, and this is a lot, gives a lot of light into how and why um, Samsung is the global leader of, of the smartphone market share. My next question was compare the accumulated growth between Apple and Samsung alongside the market share each quarter. Um, and here you're able to just see a, a running share total um, in chronological order using year over year growth um, aligned with Q1, fiscal Q1 sales. Um, yeah, and these are real num join and window functions here. Um, and as you can see, it it um, brought back and spit out iPhone sales, Samsung sales, and then alongside that, the world market share. Um, and as you can really just see and get a taste of the results, um, it's just pretty crazy to see the growth in both of these companies as in the early years in around like 2010 and 11. Um, but it's really interesting as Samsung took the global market share lead in 2011 and hasn't really looked back um, in terms of market share and managers, I just really encourage them to look at these periods where Samsung increased a lot while Apple didn't and vice versa as well um, to really just see what one company did um, over the other that the market really liked. My next question is compare worldwide smartphone sales for Apple and Samsung by showing sales growth in the year-over-year -year format for both Samsung and Apple. Um, based on how we know Apple's strongest 
quarter is the fiscal quarter number one. We want to capitalize on this and continue to dig into how they can capitalize on this. And here we are able to see just quarterly unit sales, previous quarter sales, and year over year growth, as well as average sales for that quarter um, historically, which would be Q1. Um, so we use the lag round some window subquery case and group by. So this is a little bit more of a robust um, query as we took advantage of these lag and some functions where I basically put the current quarter versus the previous quarter and then the sales growth percent, which was the year over year growth. Um, and I I kind of wanted to add like some kind of some sort of metric that would be easily readable, which was this growth target, which I set at 10% year over year growth. And if it hit, and if it um, was greater than that, then it beat it. And if it wasn't, it, it missed it. Um, so basically my recommendations out of this would just to look at how much growth is displayed in the beginning years. Um, obviously as consumers rush to buy iPhones, but um, as the market matured and in 2016 to, to 2018, we can see a lot slower growth. And as a manager, I would basically just look into these years where the targets have missed and to look at the consumer market as well as look internally, possibly at features of the iPhone, release time, um, market tendencies and market wants, and um, really to just digest this information to um, gain direction on to on where to go next and where to look um, and really just use these periods as learning points for the future. The last thing I'm going to talk about is what regions and countries could Apple potentially grow in. So I use the Google Trends interest by region um, data set that I found and really just used um, this low, medium, high metric of popularity and interest for iPhones. Um, and I used the SQL view and case features. So here I used the view um, and I basically set a metric when the iPhone was greater than 60 and it was high, between 20 and 60 medium and below 20 low. Um, and we really could have done this for any phone, but I really wanted to just focus on iPhone as this is an Apple job. So um, I ordered it by from the lowest interest. And here you can see um, a lot of these uh, kind of outlier um, countries, but there definitely are some countries with potential. Um, and for a manager, I would really just recommend that um, to really just dive into each and every one of these countries to first see why the interest is so low and then look at um, just possibly um, look at the potential that some of these um, regions can can offer um, to just um, grow and grow in iphone popularity yeah um, just really ask them like why why are these countries not interested and what can we do to build interest so that's my project and the gist of it and I, just let me know if you guys have any questions and thanks so much for watching